The golden sands of the Glitter Strip could soon be up for sale as the city tries to lure fresh tourist dollars. This is taking us uh, as a tourist destination to the next stage and that uh, to keep in pace with being competitive. On the table is Bali-style commercialisation at selected beaches, with businesses spilling onto the sand. Bring more people into the Gold Coast, that's for sure. I'd come here to, to do that. Actually, it's a very good idea. Uh, that's one of the things that is missing in Australia. No, look, I don't approve of alcohol one bit. Food may be a different matter, but alcohol, no. The scheme's being pushed by the city's tourism bosses, desperate to bounce back from COVID-19. At a state level, caution abounds. Any time a public asset is used in this way, it has to be open for everybody, not just the rich. It can't be an enclave. It's got to be something that everyone can benefit from. And you can't have any environmental disruption. I would be uh, hesitant to embrace uh, those kinds of approaches. I think there's plenty of commercial opportunities uh, near our wonderful beaches. But it's a council decision and COG's already a turning. A trial site's been mooted for the spit. The Star Casino, since they purchased the Sheraton, on the ocean side there, happy to work with them to see if we can do commercialisation on the beach side there. This isn't the first time this divisive issue has been on the agenda on the Gold Coast. In 2015, Council voted on a proposal to allow food and drink deliveries onto the sand. After a fiery debate, it was rejected. A global pandemic could be enough to turn the tide. Jennifer Huxley, ABC News, Gold Coast.